Hello, my friend. In today's video, I want to share with you why it might feel like your transformation, your growth has stagnated over the last few months or even years. Now, my name is Elon Ferdman. I'm a co-founder of Satori Prime. I'm a coach, speaker, and mentor. And since 2003, I've had the privilege of coaching tens of thousands of high achievers from all over the world. And I've started to kind of notice that there's this pattern that we all go through on our spiritual personal development quest. And I want to walk you through that to A, explain to you why you might be feeling stuck and B, more importantly, how to actually get out of that stuckness. I know I just made up a word. So I call this the three phases of transformation. Phase one, this is the part where someone hands you a book. Maybe you attend a seminar. Something happened to open your mind to the fact that the world that you know isn't quite what you thought it was. Now this might be a book that opened your mind or a seminar or something and it kind of starts you down this path of personal development and growth, right? So. If you see, like we start here and then every book that you read that's in that world or video that you watch or seminar that you attend, you have this feeling of just absolute exponential growth. You're growing like a weed, as I like to call it. And it's really exciting and your relationships are improving and your outlook on life is improving and you feel really, really good. And then at some point, something happens. You read a bunch of books, you're watching videos, and there seems to be this kind of like plateau effect that happens. And that's when we kind of enter what I call phase two. Now this plateau effect means that you might be reading the books, you might be watching the videos, maybe you even attend a seminar or work with a coach, but it kind of feels like that growth that you experienced in the beginning is really slowing down. You repeat patterns over and over. You keep coming back to the same things and issues over and over and over again. And if you actually look at your life, you're kind of thinking, you know, I should be farther along or it doesn't feel like I'm growing in that same way. And that's kind of what happens in phase two. Now, there's another piece that happens in phase two in between, I'll call it like 2.5 to three. And you notice here that I actually have the line dipping down a bit. So. Our education plateaus, we don't feel like we're kind of growing at that same place. And then something happens. Now, this might be a life event that happens. Maybe you lose your job, financial hardships, maybe something around your health or a loss of a relationship or someone loved one in your life. And something really happens that kind of challenges us in a very, very big way. And it's kind of this moment that dictates which path you're gonna fall into, right? Are you going to, it's almost like the universe is testing you. You know, do you really believe all that stuff that you've been reading and trying to put into practice or is it just a whole bunch of like make you feel good type stuff? And it's at this point that people either escalate and get into phase three or kind of flounder and stay, you know, actually reverse back to kind of where they started. So phase two is really critical and you might be here and finding yourself in that stagnant place, meeting some hardships and things like that. Now. I want, you, I want to explain why this all happens. When you first start personal development, you're really doing mindset work. In other words, you're starting to understand how you operate, you're getting a education that teaches you how your mind works, how your patterns work, why you do the things you do, etc. But the bottom line is this. In this phase, you start to realize that all the understanding in the world isn't really enough to make the kind of shifts that you're looking for. So when we're looking at getting into phase, from phase two into phase three, and phase three, by the way, the growth is exponential and forever. There is no place where it dips down again. There are hardships and things that you might experience, but it's all leading to your growth. And the biggest shift that I see that people make from phase two to phase three is they stop making it about understanding and they start making it about experiencing. They take the education out of the mind and drop it into their body, into their system, because this has the wisdom that actually drives everything through your mind. And if you continue to stay in the mindset world and just start to understand why and how you do things, you're going to get stuck in phase two for a long time. And at some point, you're gonna feel that stagnation. And so the way to get into phase three and then continuously grow is to actually start tapping into something else, what we call parts work, or subtle energy work, where you actually start to heal the different aspects that are impacted in your life. So if you could imagine a young kid standing on a diving board, right, and is about to jump into the pool. As an adult, you've done that, it's not scary to you. But as this five-year-old child, that's terrifying. And no amount of understanding, no amount of logic that you're gonna share with this little five-year-old being is gonna stop it from having a freak out 
that he thinks or she thinks that they're gonna die. And that's kind of what's happening internally for you. It doesn't matter how much mindset work you do, internally, that little boy or girl that got trapped in that certain trauma ages and ages ago is still freaking out. And you can do all the things that you want to reframe and make yourself feel good, but at the end of the day, the internal pieces are still hurting, are still fearful, are still sad. And until you start to make that transition from understanding into experiencing and actually going deep within, you will get stuck in phase two. You might be there now. So if you wanna find out how to do this kind of work for yourself in your life, right below this video, I'm gonna leave a link. And I'm gonna invite you to come hang out with myself and my brother on a live Q&A. Bring an area of your life that you're struggling with right now, that you would like to get some insights into. And we're gonna show you how, instead of trying to understand that thing, you can actually start to feel through that thing, heal that part, and start to get yourself into phase three. So again, if you're feeling stuck, check out the link below this video or somewhere on this video, and come join us for live Q&A, ask whatever question you want, and we will answer you personally, and you can start your own path into exponential growth in perpetuity forever. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please hit the like button, comment below, let me know what you thought. And obviously, if you know that someone else in your life is feeling stuck right now, please share this video with them. Um, and if you enjoyed this, subscribe to our channel. We send a lot more videos like this every single week. So until then, I hope you have an amazing, amazing day, my friend.